connected. Channel switched. Hi all, and Merry Christmas. Hello, Tim. Hi Tim. Hey, Tim. Merry Christmas. How you doing? Hey Tim. Good to have you back. It's nice to be back. How is the weather in US? Cold. Blizzard. Yeah. One of the heaviest snows ever in the uh, New York area. People dying in their cars. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. Everybody's flying a Ventus today. Yeah, I think the, it said uh, Ventus only at the website, but I can't see it in the, the task description. Yeah. Is it Ventus only? Yes. Okay. It's not in the task description, but I saw that too. Anybody live in Wyoming? Yes, sir. Mike, you do, don't you? Yep. What was the temperature yesterday up there? Uh, it wasn't bad. It was in the in the forties yesterday. That's what I heard. Anomaly. It was in the teens in Alabama. Wow. Yeah, and and it, it snowed last night. So we woke up to a white day after Christmas, but now tomorrow it's supposed to be 56 and on Thursday, 57, it, <laughs> crazy. Your snow will all, you, you'll practice the Southern method. Just wait for it to melt. Yep. That's about it. What do y'all use for takeoff flaps? Any, anybody? Just uh, the default. Neutral. Neutral. I like a lot of flap when I take off myself, but I'm the inexperienced guy. I like to get everything active as soon as I can, and get the no get the the tail wheel up. I, I like to get the left and right, you know, the ailerons active. I usually start uh, 15 meters off in, in some negative flap and then shift to uh, thermal flaps up the ground. Ventus has so many flap settings. That's why I asked. I'm sorry to ask this. I always ask this. I'm going to write it down. Do we use the lowest flap setting for thermaling in the Ventus? I don't think yeah, I so. Think you, no. I was one or two is what I was I would... it out. I know, like in the JS3, you go all the way, right? So I didn't know about this one. Well, it doesn't have the drag rise like an EB or the 20. I was using it this morning when I was testing this plane out. Let's go into L. 
on a JS3, I've kind of decided that the only time to use five is when you got a really tight one. Otherwise, a four works pretty well. Having talked to some guys that fly the JS, they, they find it flies better fast. Thermal's better fast. Yeah, it has a tendency to stall pretty early uh, when you're thermaling. That's what I found, yeah. Well, we got lots of flyers today. In uh, Kotasa, in the artificial horizon, is there a way to get the little airplane in the center to always point in the direction you're going? Yes. Okay, I guess I'll have to figure it out. Yeah, it's in the... It's in the uh, setup uh, system. Okay. You talking about Kotasa? Yes. I've got two airplanes. One of them is the physical heading, and the other one is the uh, rel relative to the wind. So I'm not sure what you meant, Dennis. I mean, do you want the plane in Kotasa to be, you know, Pointing north, south, east, or west, the direction you're flying, or do you always I want, want it to always to pointing north? to the direction I'm flying? Other than because right now it's, it's changing directions and the wind stays permanent on that okay, one yeah. side. There's a north only option, or yeah, or a, okay, a, I forget what they call it, up only option in there. Okay, I'll have another look. I used to fly that way. I don't mind what it's doing now, but I, I have always have to think about it when I look down at a little picture. Yeah, you, you can convert it to heading up. Okay. The nice thing about it, with not doing it that way, is you can use the wind direction in Kotasa and it lines up with the map, so you could be studying the the mountain, the ridges on the map, and the arrows in the correct direction for that. It won't be the correct north, south, east, west wind direction. If you do what you're doing, it'll be relative to the plane. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Trade-offs. For some reason or other, I have Kotasa set up. I've got an orange uh, airplane and a yellow one. That's what I got. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I'm talking about the orange one. He wants the orange one to always be up, pointing up. So he, I think it goes away. When you pick that option, the orange one's gone. All you got is the yellow. Yes. Okay. Yellow's the relative to the wind, and the orange is the actual heading. I think yellow's... I mean, there's some lot smarter people than me here. I think I should stop talking. Why? I like listening to you ramble on. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty useless in the mode we're using it right now, the yellow part. It's mainly just for the artificial horizon reference right now the way we have it set up. It changes if you use the option he wants. It's all you have. And it's still the some option. people, like myself, I never I never use the, the nav map on the PDA. I always use my uh, XC SOAR, so I never know what's north up. And when you guys reference east, west, north, south, it takes me a while to figure out. So every, everybody does it different. I'm in my own little core over here. Hi, Henry. 
This yeah. thing has a bit less wing loading than the JS3. But tonight it's not the Pretty war tester in the map. Thermal. It's uh, Arc Alpin. But the the South African war tester scenery is very nice. JS3 is up. Yeah, they're not going to get it. Yeah, a lot of guys didn't buy this plane. Well, they didn't see it either. They don't know even that that's what he wanted. Yeah, it wasn't in the task description, so a lot of people wouldn't have seen it. Really high maximum penalty cloud points, by the way, guys. Yep, 200 a minute or a second, whatever it is. I was almost in the cloud. Entering that thermal, I was white out for a while. Now, right after I said that, he wasn't even pushing. I just ex exited and I ran into a, a curtain. Cloud's breaking up, Dennis. Yeah, I'm just up here kind of hanging out. Really nice high cloud base. Should probably look for another cloud because this isn't going to do it for the start. Thing. I think you're right. Yeah. Very inconvenient here. I need another 120 or 220. Problem is, I don't see any clouds in the vicinity, except for that one that had a rather low cloud base. It's getting old. I'm just gonna head off into the wind and it'll blow us back over the period of time. Looks like there might be a new cloud to the west. Yeah. Really? I'll look for it. Not seeing it. That would be nice. Six XR, it should be in front of you slightly left. Yeah, I'm headed over that way. I'm looking at actually uh, shadows on the lake. There's one that doesn't even show a cloud yet, but it's got a shadow, so it's got to be something there. Wow. I'm just past the start line, and I'm in 2.7. The one that's over the start is a, is a low cloud base. 
It's about 17. Remember. Okay, I'm going to take a flyer out here to the west. You think that huge cloud, that shadow down there is from the cloud that's coming, Dennis? There's a smaller one in between a couple of them that I'm headed at. Man. That new cloud never formed we, we were seeing? I didn't I see a new one. I don't see anything. Well, how's that seem, Danny? I haven't found a center yet, but it's at over it's almost one and a half, 1.6. Doesn't look really high cloud base to me. We're not that far from the base. It's almost two. That's good enough for me. Oh, really? Oh, two. Yeah, that's what you need, but you're far away from the start. Uh, not too bad. I'm only 3K from the start. This one's two and going to have a cloud base around 2,000. But it is 10K from the start. thousand also and I'm only uh, a little old now almost three K from the start so I'm gonna stick here for a bit. Plus I think it's blowing me towards the start line anyways.
this seem narrow to you, Mike? Yeah. I'm having a hell of a time. Yeah, yeah. I'm constantly having to recenter. I was in this earlier and I was, well, there's two cores. I was in one of the cores and it was fine. And cloud base 1900. Oh, but you're not missing much. We're just flying around out here looking for somewhere to go up. I'm still on tow. I've got to get you. some climbing to do. Yeah, well, come over to one of these clouds, it'll probably be okay. I'm going to the third or fourth cloud. I've been in. Oh, this one looks like it's breaking up and it's still keeping me up where I want to be, so I'm staying here for a bit. Still looks good from a distance. Okay. A little fuzzy, but not bad. As long as it keeps me up at altitude, I don't care. <laughs> I want to stay near 2,000 feet. Two thirty in the afternoon. It's thermal with everybody in working. You're talking about the one uh, west of the start? I guess, yeah. Back to the start sector. Yeah, Yay. it's still working. Just getting to it now. No, that's true, Henry. I see you up there. This one over here is breaking up too.
Oh, Dennis, you, I guess you had a good uh, way to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. You gonna be low by the time you get back? No, I'm at 2100 and I'm just putting back across. And I'll get up close and then dump it in. Yeah, probably enough to get up to the end. Just have absolutely no idea how to where to go on this task. See you on down the line. Good luck, Mike. Thank you. Good luck, Tim. Good luck, all. Good luck. Good luck, Denny. Man. Oh, well, this isn't going to get it done. Hey. Did you start with full altitude, Tim? Nope. I'm going back for a restart soon. Okay. It's going to... Really, you look really low, I was going to say. Yeah, 1,000. Yeah, this isn't working for me. I'm not doing well. Well, I got a bit of an unorthodox idea again for the way to go on this one, so it'll be interesting to see if I'm, I blow it and I'm all alone again once I get around to starting. This cloud I'm in is 4.2 meters per second. Wow. So I'm going up to cloud base. So you've already started, Dennis? Yep. I couldn't find the proof. Like I guess I was too low. Oh no. What's that? No, I just said I, I couldn't find the cloud the proof is uh, going for. I couldn't find the thermal. Uh, I'm circling. So it's probably upwind.
Sorry, Tim, that really sucks. Oh, it's no problem. Still 40 minutes to make a start. You got no trouble flying alone either, so. You don't need the hive mind. Well, this is going to be the start, lower or not. I have four meters per second, a little north of uh, the blue line. Oh, I see you, Tim. Thanks. Hi, Mike. Hi, Danny. What we have here? Oh, two and a half to three. You hit it right. Good luck, Bruce. Cheers, Bruce. I guess I didn't hit it right. I ain't getting more than one and a half out of it. Yeah, it looked like it was breaking up, so I left it. Well, I'm at 19 now, so. You're good, then. Fuck, Bruce. Thanks. Good luck. Good luck, Bruce. Thanks for the tip, Tim. Yeah, it's uh, 3.5 now, but it's okay. Okay.
Get over that ridge, Mike. No, not yet. I got over the first one. I'm almost to this big one. Hoping to get some help on it. I think you'd be on the wrong side of the wind over there. I'm about to find out. You're right. Yeah, the wind is coming from that direction, so that's the wrong side of that hill. Yeah, the wind's almost straight on my tail. Yeah, I was out of the room. <laughs> Put it on autopilot and didn't have any choice. right behind you now. Oh, must be a good spot, huh? Whoa, I guess it is. Strictly the ridge, though. Yep, I need all the height I can get right now. Hello, Plum. Thank you. Yeah, I need to get some that I lost on that other one. Well, I found a few guys going the way I'm thinking we should go. One of them happens to be the task creator. That's kind of interesting. Where are you at compared to us? I don't know. I'm north of the blue line. I can't see anybody. Which way from the blue line? Northeast. Are we?
Hey, Mike, what are you doing up there? Get down here. I'm just tootling along. I think I'm going to take another swipe at that uh, ridge. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, we got a lot of climbing to do anyway, so we might as well get some of it out of the way. I ain't that high. Think that cloud's worth it? Oh, this, this definitely this ridge is. For sure.
Last pass for me, I'm getting the cloud base. I was hoping to come away from that ridge and find some wave out here, and there's nothing. Sure, it's lonely out here. Where are you at, Rick? I went, uh, I've gone to that gully the, uh, to the uh, south of the blue line. Oh, the big long one? Yeah. Where are you guys at? We're north of the north blue of the line, line, but headed south uh, almost to it. Yeah, I'm still 134 from the uh, finish. Oh, uh, we're about 120. Yeah, I thought you guys set off before me. Yeah. I was late launching. I felt like you needed to go north at the beginning because you don't end up at the right place. Um, you end up way too far west relative to that huge mountain if you if you start on the southwest side of the blue line. Another good one, Denny? Yep. Wow, yeah it is. over there, Mike? Uh, not yet. Uh, there's a little. As it gets us over this bump, we'll be okay. Yeah, there's a couple of, couple of meters here. that next bump we got to get over. <laughs> Ooh, PL7 may have a good idea. Yeah, I see where he's at. Yeah, yeah everybody else is going... Uh, 
more to the north of him. Afraid we might have to get higher. And oh, I see be somebody on. trapped in a valley down there. Should be something on this hill when we get there. Should be. Oh, is that cloud? Is it in our way? Uh, it's closing on the hill right now. I don't know. We'll see. The L7 looks like he's stuck in that valley over there. There's a little bit on the hill. A couple Take meters. Whatever we get. Up to three. KJA is the one stuck down in there. Ooh yeah, that. If I hope you're close behind me, get over that. I oh. was close. I have to go back for a minute. Need some more height. Wow, I had to really make a sharp turn to get out of that cloud. Yeah, I did too. That's why I was saying I hope you were close behind me. Test creator, I'm on my own. I feel like I'm going the way you guys are going if you're north of the line. We're just barely north of the line now. You yeah, really want to kind of stay north if you can. I'm, I'm thinking, but I get close. I, I'm planning to get a little close too. We're 99 yeah. from the finish. Yeah, I'm 118. little but there's little bits and puffs
Oh, now it's getting better. Do some more zigzagging. Yeah, I think we're going to be stuck here for a while. KJA got unstuck. HLE just made it over. make it over. He said with a grin. You guys have clouds blocking the way. Yep. Yeah. Damn. Just zigzagged around. Right in my way. Okay.
This has been a pretty interesting task. Yeah, not bad. Far so good. Pops a lot of questions into your mind, and then you see an out, and yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good. Well, I think the way I I saw is what I think I guess a lot of people saw. I don't know what happened to John, the the task maker, Castell. That's the man. Joel. Yeah, he's at about the 72 kilometer mark. Who is? GJ. Really? Yep. He made 20 kilometers on me. He went even further north. I thought he was crazy. Oh my God. Oh well. Should have stayed with him, I guess. Oh, I hope I don't get trapped up here. So when I was talking about clouds being a problem, I was talking about them like blocking the passes. Are you guys yep. having having trouble with them out in the middle places? Oh, hey, yeah. lots of clouds. Yeah, I'm high enough now. I'm I'm messing with them. Cloud base just out in the open. GTR must have found the fast route. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, V8. Yeah. He's I always impressive. That.
I'm gonna have to look at Gamma Juliet's track. Well, I still haven't seen anybody. You're all by yourself still, Rich? <laughs> yep. Well, I'm picking my way. I'm, I'm at the lead of the, I'm kind of the leader here after John took off north. I'm kind of, kind of like being alone. I'm still 80k from the finish. How far? 8 zero. Well, that's about what I am. I'm 77 and a half. I'm 65. Yeah, I got a parking ticket. Didn't help. I'm afraid I'm in one. Well, I don't know. I don't really see any parking tickets on my path. I mean, it's just pretty much follow the valley down to the lowlands. I hope I don't get a nasty surprise here. over a ridge and man is there a lot of cloud in the way parking ticket right no I just wound up being forced to go away I didn't want to go clouds yep could not get over this little pass that was in front of me and there's one cloud right after another after another so it would have been just like being like having a parking ticket just sitting there No. Now they're four. 
swarming around me. Hey, sweet Gladys has just popped up on the PDA. Hey, Rich. I can't see him, but... You still way south? Yeah, I'm still south of the line. Yeah, I'm... Myself and JLD are also fairly well south of the line now. I'm at your 9 o'clock. Who? No, Rich. I see Mike. Oh, I see Bruce. At your 9 o'clock, Bruce. Oh, I see you, Bruce. Oh, oh PL1 oh. ahead of me. Cool, we all came together. Very cool. Well, you did it your way, Rich. Yeah, I'm not sure it's the fastest, but it was interesting. Oh, Lovely. yeah, I see Rich, too. Yeah, I mean, I, I was with you right back there at the start. I'm, I'm with you here at the end, so at least these two ways are... Well, my way was probably faster because you fly faster than me. Yeah, I think your overall speed's higher than mine. I don't think so. We, we were together at the beginning. We're begin at, together at the end, right? Let's see. Yeah, I think I started before you, though. You guys are real close. Yeah. Bruce is 152 and Rich is 151. Yeah, he'll take care of that pretty quick. <laughs> I love your optimism. All stuff felt was confident. Four hundred finish. It would be really helpful just to be able to follow the blue line right over these mountain uh, bridges that are running out. I'm being forced away from the ridge by clouds. Okay. Do you see his average? He deviates average. Yeah, 193. Crap. Oh, Jack. You going right through that, Rich? I have to go around it. Looks like you're going right through a cloud. <laughs> no, I'm the other side of the cloud. Oh, you're so getting so far ahead of me already. So I have to go around it. Well, I wonder what that cost me. Not as much as testing flutter. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Well, if we had the altitude, we'd go right over on the blue line. Yeah, I don't have the altitude for that. If I had the altitude, I'd have been on the blue line the whole flight. Yeah, there's an interesting trade-off here. Speed versus altitude. The lower you are, the longer you are going to have to chase that the ridge out there. It's tailing out into the valley. Interesting trade-offs in this thing, this task. Well, I 
taking a long way. Oh, I don't uh, know. Are you going to go around that corner? Well, no, I got to go around some other place. It'll be a while. I'll see you guys this afternoon sometime. I'll still be fine. <laughs> it's not that bad, is it? Well, I got to go way out of my way to get around this. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Join the club, dude. We're here. We're doing it. Nice scenery, though. Yeah, it is. It's pretty. I'm not sure where. I'm not sure where I would have found the altitude to go over on the blue line if I wanted to make the decision to circle even. Maybe I'll catch it lifting this cloud over here. No one's going to touch V8. God, I hate having to go all the way around that point that sticks out. But I can't get over. You do have a tailwind going over. be almost a crosswind when I make that turn. I'm crossing that power line at about 1900. Then at 900. Wow, Rich, what happened? You went straight up. A cloud. Looks like PL1's going to circle in it. ACA is surfing in it. Got nothing here. What a waste. I saw you go straight up. I went to the same spot. I got nothing. Don't understand.
What a waste. Heel one, he's circled, he's going over. See? He's going over right you know, way early. Nice job there. I just couldn't catch it for whatever reason. You guys are a mile up there compared to me. I just don't understand. Oh, physics. They got left. You did. You want me to call you an Uber, Bruce? Yeah. Ridiculous. Hello. Lose it. Oh, you're still gonna beat my speed. All you guys can beat mine. Well, PL1, for as far back as he started trying to go over, he's going over the same place I am. Okay. He circled longer. You guys ended up in the same place. All I did was I just got a little bit of a pull-up from it. Really bad. I'm with you, Rick. I don't want to be too close to that. Uh right side over there it could be very sinky i'm in crazy sink i'm in five sink flying along this keeps up i won't even make it you know the ridge here on the uh East side works all the way down. I started up at the, at the Y at like 900 meters. Yeah, well, okay. I'm better than that. I got through the sink. Negative DDH, but well, well. Yeah, Rick, look how much altitude PL1 has lost by being over there. Yeah, I'm over here with him. Oh, you're higher than he is, aren't you? Yeah, he's on the wrong side of the valley. Yeah. Well, I didn't uh, take his route. Yeah, I wanted to get out into the middle of the valley, too. Wasn't worried about having enough altitude, but I definitely didn't want to be over there. The other is cutting close to the ground too many times. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to Brad's pay down. to have the bottom of this glider refinished when I get done. What? Congrats. Congrats, John. Thank you, sir. Thanks, John. Congrats.
So John, the background, uh, that GTR, his real call sign's V8. And he comes out here all the time and, try, and smokes us. But he's, he started to try to do different call signs to kind of throw us off like it's really gonna do that. Yeah, like nobody knows his real name. All you gotta do is look at the way he flies. And clouds. Yeah, they're quite pesky, aren't they? Time I get ahead, I gotta go around a cloud. Well, I wonder if GTR found some wave early on and just kind of cruised his way over. I don't know where. I never even got a hint of wave. I got into it, but it didn't seem to go very high. Congrats, good time. Ready? Thank you. Yeah, congrats, Rich, Dennis. Thank you. Just, yeah, you just smoked me on Bridge, Dennis, at the end. I've always been a little ambivalent about following a ridge. The wind's just blowing down the ridge, you know. It doesn't seem like that should help. That's what you did, and it seemed good. That's Mike. Way to go, Thank Mike. Mike, you finished. What? That's Bruce. Congrats, Bruce. Congrats, Bruce. Oh, you're a bugger. You got me. I'm a bugger. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, man, I did get you. I thought for sure you'd smoke me totally at the end there. You must have started way before me, more than I thought. I did start quite a while before you. You screwed around then, right around the beginning. That's what got you. Because I was with you at the beginning. I took a couple of thermals to get into that high ground to try and get into that gully. Yeah, I don't know. Once, once I was in it, it was working well, but it took me a while to get there. I don't know. Taka, 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 taka. I really enjoy it when you say bugger. <laughs> it just, I don't know. I'll just shut you down. It's so English. I don't know, I like it. Yeah, you're turning that over. Bam, bam, bam. You know, and I did it my way. I did what I visualized, so. It worked for you. It did well. The GTR went uh, north of the blue line and kind of stayed there until about midway. And then he dropped to 
drifted down to it and it went around the mountain to the south and up the valley just like uh, the rest of us. He never got more than about 3,100 meters. Interesting so it wasn't like he was in wave or anything. No, it didn't appear to be. Uh, but he didn't have to slow down. I don't, I don't think he, he, he might have stopped once or twice, one, maybe two. But most time he was just cruising on top. Okay, guys, have a good one. See you next time. Hi, see, you later. Later. see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you. Later. Disconnected from your channel. Again, a genie had never made it. I gave up. But only so 72 kilometers. I know. He, he must have got trapped and couldn't get out of it. Hmm. I was thinking he saw the way I saw, but then he peeled off to the north, and I just said, no way. I'm glad I didn't do that. Wow, this is beautiful scenery. It was well worth the detour. <laughs> this is gorgeous over here. Wow. I like to fly this in real life. Yeah, there, there's definitely some beautiful spots in this AA2, that's for sure. I don't think you could fly it to the least fly it safely, though, a lot of the time. No, you wouldn't. No way. Taking your life into your hands. Is that Zerko that crashed? Yep. trying to work out how you got over there, Bruce, because you landed on the grass the other side of the runway. <laughs> I would decide I was going to try to park with the big guys over there. Mike and I park not far behind you. Also had to go over a guy. He was landing, going the other direction. He screwed me up. I had to kind of like pop over the top of him to get here. Those Elko only made 55 kilometers. There were a lot of people got trapped. I can't believe you picked me at the post, Bruce. That's why, that, that's why you're my mentor. Oh, he's still my hero. <laughs> For crashing the scores, yeah. Does be a mic in? We'll chat with you guys next time. See you later. Okay, have a good one. I think all those 166, 167s could get us at the end. I'm not with the fast final. Depends how high they are. Have you seen what uh, Golden Eagle is doing? He's up to 180 already. Yeah, it, uh, yeah and he's still got, I don't know what, 18 kilometers to go? 
Can't make that a 181. I seem we're supposed to be getting a 7% boost in performance on our questions on the next firmware update. Yeah, allegedly, if you uh, double tap the power button, it gives you that performance boost before you get the update. Yeah, I did that, and it seems to be working for me because I, I got like my cockpit is like almost crystal clear. Here comes Tim. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hi Tim. Hi. Yeah. Go go go. At least I will make it, but it was a huge detour. Yeah, I don't think I took the fastest route. No, I took the scenic one though, and it's beautiful. Uh, it's a beautiful scenery, but it was lovely. It'd be nice to have someone to share it with. Were you north or south? Oh, Mike would have slowed down. He would have shared it with me. <laughs> He's like that. That Mike. Yeah, initially I went north and then <laughs> I diverted way south. Oh. Yeah, I'd already decided on the south and I'd pick the gully that I wanted to get to, but I'd just take a couple of thermals to get over the high ground to get into that gully, and that, that cost me quite a bit of time. On one ridge that I was able to get over flying straight where you had to zigzag. That big mountain we had to go around at the end, I knew I needed to be at the northwest corner of that valley. So it was how do you get there? Congrats, Tim. Thank you. Congrats. Congrats. Thanks, Tim. It's quite a pull up that end of the uh, finish line, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Especially if you're on the north side. That's exactly where I came in. No, I was right on the edge of it, on the north side. Danny should come into sight here soon. Yeah, on the 8K out. Right behind LS. I've got LS in view, but I can't see you. Way up in the sky. Uh, yeah, I'm sitting about 10k up at the moment. I'm in the VR and I've gone to uh, external view and zoomed out. There he comes. I see ya. Oh yeah, got him. It was an interesting task. So many ways to do it, probably. Oh, I wonder why Ellis disconnected, because his time was good. Yeah, he was right in front of me. It was only three kilometers from the finish. Less. What the heck? He was low. Well, I could have been. It could have been hardware problem. I know he was a lot lower than I was. He was very low. Yeah, maybe that's it. Perhaps he was too low to, to finish. But he could have flown straight onto that ridge, got the height and just popped back again. Yeah. Wouldn't have cost him that much. I actually think he could have. North end of that finish line, halfway up the Blooming Ridge anyway. All right, well, I'm going to... We're going to go out of town with my son and uh, grandkids and... Head down to Colorado for a little while. So I'm going to get off of here. You guys have a great afternoon, great evening. Congrats, Denny. Yep, thanks, Mike. Have a good big time Congrats off with the family. Yeah. Everybody have a great afternoon, great evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thanks, Sam, to you, Mike. Stay safe. See you, Mike. Drive safe, mate, and have a good time. couch up three flights of stairs here or three floors pretty soon my daughter to my daughter's apartment <laughs> gonna be interesting <laughs> sounds like fun an idea box but it weighs a ton multiple boxes you 
cables are disconnected from your channel. I like this airplane. Yeah. It didn't do any of that stalling stuff that the J3 does when you're doing you're doing some uh, circling in the clouds or in the ridge. The J3 has a tendency to stall out all the time. The wing loading's less. That helps a lot. Yeah, what a nice and challenging task. Yeah, it was fun. It was, uh, there were so many routes that were taken as well. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good one. It'd be interesting to see, uh, like, um, Mike and that, that went north, because I, I couldn't see anything north that looked sensible, which is why I went south. I knew you had to push north and push north to get to that lead into that huge mountain at the end, that valley we all ended up at. So it was keep pushing north. It turned out there was some really good ridges along there, really great climbing and stuff. Yeah, I took the uh, the southern side to come into that valley. Um, I think it once I got into the first valley, it worked pretty well. It just took uh, cost me some time to get there. Well, yeah, I mean, well, I don't know. You fly faster than I do, so I think my way was probably faster. But we did turn out there at the same. We parted. And then we came together at the end, you know. Yeah, it was great the way that uh, you, me, Mike, and Danny and that all came together at the end like that. Yeah, it made it much really fun. What airport's this? Yeah, I'll say bye as well and see you guys for uh, tomorrow. See you. Have a great afternoon and evening. Cheers, Tim. Have a good evening, mate, and belated Merry Christmas. Thanks. Yes, Same time. to you. So, what's the name of this airport in real life? Bolzano. Disconnected.